All right, let's create some titles. Unfortunately, we already created the. Sorry, how many such trappies do I have? I mean, don't we have control of all of these areas, or do we still have to usurp them? Oh, this one still holds that. I mean, we're able to create new uh, satrapies on the previous episode in areas like Ladakh, Kashmir, and Pamir. But I guess the creation of the Kingdom of Kashmir would be practical for both these areas. But the question is, which one of you two is more... I mean, you have an heir, you don't. So I guess I'll give Kashmir to him. Plus, Punjabi culture. Punjabi Sazorastrian. So, yeah, not a foreigner. But we can't create it yet because we're going to need some piety. There are ways. I was thinking about that, but I kind of want to... Well... I don't think we're expected to do another war for about at least, oh, I say, five years or more. So let's just do the pious way right now, just so I can create that kingdom title, just to, you know, have less satrapies to go around. And plus, we got so many prisoners, including this one evil extrad who's been in prison for how many years? Twelve years. But you're the exception. Couple of shake cars, this and that, and that would give us a lot of gold. Except releasing this extra, which I want him gone. I already took all the titles that away from you that I wanted. Now I'm gonna have to get rid of you. I mean, I can't ask to revoke two more. Well, I could revoke one more, but I think the vassals have already. Uh, hard enough for me. Oh, yes. I meant, forgot about that. That was another task. It's not about creating tiles, it's just, okay, who deserves what? Uh, and what's that you want? Again? Aurora, Rajanpur, Kandal. Kandal, okay. I'll give them to you. That was what you wanted. That county too. That stayed your part of uh, that trappy of uh, Baka. Can do. Okay, that's one. Now how about you? We'll have that figured out. And we got this handled. I shouldn't worry too much about retracting vassalage to other people. I mean, of course, I have to worry about these guys in the backyard, especially this um, hedonistic man who has issues with me. Because he wants that satrapi, which he'll never get it, but I've always wanted to, I don't know. Not saying go to reaches, but I have my limits in the domain size. So, is everyone happy? I mean, except for... Ah, yes. Kashgar and Kotan. Yes, we brought Priya Devit to be, you know, the new uh, ruler. Well, he's not new, but he was previously there, then he was overthrown by a faction. And now we brought him back, liberated most of the Tokarian lands from the Western Protectorate on the previous episode, which was one of the longest ones we've done so far. So yeah, he rules the Tokarian people again, and he's a Buddhist, not a Zoroastrian. And I think I would like for him to keep it that way. You know, sympathy for Eastern religions and whatnot. So... Again, you are a contented man, but you want Kashgar and Kotan? Well, these two are prisoners, especially this evil man who is a Mazdaki heretic. Now, Karmic Savannah, since they're under 
my prison. It makes me want to, I don't know, revoke titles and give them all to you. <laughs> so that way you can finally rule this half that's been taken away from you. So you can have more levies and an improved economy. Since this is poor infrastructure here, so have at it. Kotan is yours. And uh, Kashgar too. Now they're under your responsibility. And look at it. Domain size increase. They use on the inherited now. Inherited given. But obviously he doesn't like his liege. For many reasons. And I hope you two have children. As much as I would like to have mine. Since I have none. As Empress Ranisa of Turan. Yes. Empress. Not uh, Bernbusht in Bernbusht, which is Queen of Queens in Sogdian. I came up with that. I don't know if that actually exists for the knowledge of any Sogdian words. Um, now, does anybody else want anything else? Like anybody desires what county other than Kiva, of course? Yeah, Kiva. Yeah, I've been revoking titles left and right, and sometimes I could wish to revoke that because you need to improve that as well. Looks like we've been improving, um, uh, fix it up. I always go for designated regions with the ones that has the strongest martial, since we are a militarily intensive country. Especially with our combat experience against China, in which, uh, I don't know, you know, one day we may have to go to war again, you know, most likely a holy war to get the rest, or well, get the parts of Kumal, it's basically this region. I mean, not now, but at far in the future. But right now, let's hold a festival and get some piety. And at the same time, release everybody from the whale, Coltan. I have a problem with that too, so. That, that's X shit of Kashgar, X shit of Coltan. I will not let those bastards out. So let's get started. Oh, and name me a, a loyalist advisor. You'll be around longer, 20 years old. And also getting my sisters married. Since, you know, it's, we did say we want to have children, well then, let's do it. Also, what? Did I just read this right? You won't betroth to this woman? Okay. I guess we'll find you someone else. Starting from 16, and then onwards, if you could find a good man, regardless of age, that has good traits. Even if it's an old man. Uncle Sharok, yeah. Now we have a non-aggression pact with our former enemy, the Pechenegs, which is too bad they're still Tengri and not, um, and not Zoroastrian, which we can, you know, have that chance. Alright, remember, we're not expected to fight a war anytime soon, especially with this threat level that's up, but what I need is piety. the heck? Oh, me being gluttonous, either drunkard or hedonist, gives me this negative. Which, why on earth would you want to do that? So, if you want to have more learning, you can also increase the learning skill a tad bit. So, I shall also go and gather camel thorn for the fire. Green fingers. 
Best of luck to you. And also, now that the Silk Road is open again, I was thinking about um, improving the uh, trade posts. What's going on here? Oh, I guess, uh, aha. Hostilities reduces the effects downstream. It's because there's an ongoing conflict. Revoked war. Well, it doesn't matter. So let's get these silk uh, road trade posts up. It's time to start making lots of money again. And build new ones. And improve already existing ones. Except for those nomadic areas because of lack of technology up there, unfortunately. But... It says anyhow. And we don't control uh, those two areas. Which suggests that we Sogdians are the masters of the Northern uh, Silk Road. <laughs> that is unless, you know, we do that holy war and then we'd be one step closer to Danhuang. Another trade post and then right to where it originated. Oh, after him. I'm not going to be leading troops anytime soon. You girls are good at this. 100 piety. Just like what we wanted. Now let's create the kingdom of Kashmir. The Shadam of Kashmir. In which you will be its Shah. And yes, Pamir will go to you as well. So now we have a more reasonable um, kind of like hold and hold. Seems the Karen Holy War will also be getting Kabul, not Gandhara. your business. Speaking of business, need more money. Alright, I'm pregnant. I will tell Darush that he will be a father. I mean, you are a father. And husband. Which, matter of fact, I recall, aren't you my husband, uncle? Is that correct? Because, you know, just try to get the family lineage correct. There's a reason in this menu, sir. Father of Uncle Sasan. Cousin. Ah. Let's see. Part of the reason why I did not want to command troops at this time. But do not forget that I'm also a member of the Eagle Warriors, which I'll eventually get up there to um, become heroin. Oh, what is that? My station. I don't think you can handle that, can you? No? You might as well be on patrol duty to get rid of any raiders on the countryside. But if it's locally, then it's up to our own domain troops to get rid of them. Oh, they're dealing with raiders too. I just hope it's the sun and I don't want to give them bad traits. Because, you know, these people are tired of having, you know, a female heir in their, in their empire. I 
And you know, I've been having these problems of revoking titles. Um, like especially when you just revoke, 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 and it's going to cause negative opinion to go down. So why don't we just have a ruler on title revocation sovereignty? Which from then on, they will not, the council will no longer have a say when I take titles off of the bad people. I feel a lot less under pressure since I stopped caring about what I eat. In fact, I started routine and look forward to gouge myself on whatever cooks have prepared every day. Besides, it's all to make a healthy son. I will stop the moment that little thing is out. Yeah, I could get the fat trait. Oh no, if I need to get rid of that gluttonous trait, that's what theology focuses for. When you go into meditation, you'll be able to get rid of that. Ouch. As I place my handle on my belly and sit down, a soft um, smile makes way across my face. The baby's kicking again. I wonder if he'll grow up to be a warrior. I mean, I'm already healthy enough, so I'm sure I'm carrying a fierce little soldier. Which I become stressed, which I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, don't worry, it'll be dealt with. And we got even more raiders. Okay, it's mountains. There's no cavalry bonus on either side. Oh. Yeah, it's just it's nothing up there. Get back to your original post. Silk Road Market. Still under construction. Oh. Also, we should look for another resource. And I just hope it's in Samarkand next time, so we can get a local resource here since we got two flax fields, a tannery, and a stone quarry in Bok. And whatever activity will make me do, even if it's dual for honor, I will do it. Just hope for a son. Nope, it's a daughter. Satrapy of Kabulistan. That is correct. Because we hold two of these, which, by the way, they belong to you. Yeah, I guess you'd be the double trap, even though I would much prefer that you go Gawakan with this. So, I will give it to you. Then, uh, gotta demand Gawakine. Oh, we may refuse or ask for something in return. For what? Money? Or, uh, favor? Favor. How old are you? One years old. One year old. Okay. But again, doesn't have much of air. I mean, he'll get everything. Cowakine? 
gobble kind. There you go. I thought after the prank said, go back to my, you know, being my usual self. But it seems like getting a little late. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about, but still, reverting back to my old diet has not been easy as I thought it would. I should try to eat more moderately now that I have no child to sustain. And attempt to stop being a glutton. It's better work. But unfortunately for the, the people of Turan Empire, Thank you, um, that, uh, <laughs> that it's another female there. Contracted pneumonia this early? A year after it's born and got pneumonia? No, go to the wet nurses. I need the fertility because I need to have another child. A son in particular. Go take care of them. Now, tonight, the mean hall has been inflamed by rumors of a great eagle terrorizing the plains of Samarkand. Again? The man who spotted the beast claims to be that it is a companion of a legendary hunter, driven mad after tasting the flesh of its own master. Um, the older members of the lodge agreed that, as the Lady of Samarkand, it is my duty to track down and slay this beast. Friend and lover. Lover? I'll pick up a film. What the hell's the matter with you? Been seduced once. And Swanamir is my rival. He's involved in a war. One of the commanders there. So it's either him, which he's got very good martial skill, or my friend, but I need to use him because his skills are unparalleled. I could definitely use you. Don't die of old age. And uh, Zvonimir tells me to focus on war. Look, I'm doing business right now, so... Give me another mission. This is the reason why I got you married. You just can't stop, can't you? you uh, adulteress. You just can't stop. Before we leave for this perilous journey to slay the monster as menacing my subjects, I should make an offering to Ahura Mazda to make sure I'm shielded from the prenatal natural powers of the creature. And lots of money to make, and especially the, the silk money. I'll burn the best cow for my stock. But the time has come for us to leave the safe confines of civilization and venture forth into the dark domain of the monster plaguing my lands. With Kugel and Uhuramazda's protection, I'm sure to track down this creature and put it into a threat it poses to my subjects once for all. Let the hunt begin. Search for the Great Eagles brought my expedition to the slopes of a barren hill. Given wandering aimlessly in an unmapped area could be just a waste of time and put us at risk of losing our own path. We are determined to find some trace of the beast before venturing any further. Oh no, that'll be for you. You are very capable as martial as you are with intrigue, so you're better suited for this task. You are the tracker. And look at you, you're a polymath. You're a gongshi. You are a professor and a master schemer. You've been scheming a lot. And he, not to mention attended to the emperor and former high-ranking Chinese bureaucrat. So he's had quite a career. So go track. You know, after finding a resource, and if we get over, I don't know, 2,000, maybe we should spend the money on new cities here and here to further improve the local economy. So I don't have to rely on a little bit of 
Oh man, that's a lot. Barely enough for the garrison to hold them off. Oh yeah, you may notice tribal tattoos. When we hunt down that um, eagle. Jump him. The great eagle is tucked in its nest. Its cruel hooked beak barely gives, uh, um, barely peeking from its, from under its wings. Finding the beast at its weakest gives us a considerable advantage against it. Yeah, we also be careful not to underestimate this formidable opponent, especially now that we are so close into succeeding our quest. I mean, I could definitely kill it on this route, or just kill it outright because of my hunting skills. Though I know how to, exactly how to deal with it. I managed to wound one of the eagle's wings as it takes off, leaving the beast unable to flee. The eagle stretches and leaps fiercely towards me, its talons grasp. Uh, grasping for my eyes, but I'm able to push it away while taking only a few scratches. As the bird clumsily tries to take flight, I throw my spear through its chest, bringing it down for good. I will make a trophy out of it, so that increases the movement speed a little, as well as the combat skill. I gotta, I gotta continue that trend of letting these people out of there, as we have yet another man, military tutor. As my enemy scurries away from the battlefield like a frightened rabbit, <laughs> I wipe the sweat of my brow and watch in silence. It was a hard-fought melee, and I was in the thick of it, personally leading my men to victory. Not only have won this battle, but also a great deal of respect. Songs will be sung of this day. When we were doing it at the same time, hunting eagles. I mean, I'm grievously scarred, you Oh yeah, come back here. That's a long way. And we can improve on the infantry since we kind of neglect that. And eventually we'll get up that military organization. Again, we don't do much of sieging. I'm not saying that's not our specialty. It's just, um, well, they're siege leaders for that. We prefer to fight rather than sit around and wait for the enemy to give up. Now let's spend on mercenary garrisons. It ups the trade value, trade value a little bit more. Trade post complete. Keep forgetting. It's Karakoja is where you get. Just a minute. Let me see the plots. I've noticed there's a lot of them, but any of them towards relevant characters? Don't even think about it. Hey, wait a minute. It's like, yeah, the old man that our previous ruler tried to antagonize, he still rivals with him, but ain't no way he's even gonna fight him now, even though he's gone a little bit on the fat side. The fat side. I mean, he's been eating a lot. It's 
too bad we can't get rid of him. Because that man doesn't know how to, you know. And I'm glad she's gone over her depression, and I hope you two have children. They already have. Oh, and do not forget that she's a shield maiden. But she's not a commander. She's actually made a marshal of, of that kingdom, the Shah Kultan. It, that's who she's a marshal to, in addition to being a Benimshan. So, it's like, yes, yeah, she may lack the skills of a commander, but she can be a good fighter if she wants to, if she's got any rivals. But, um... Uh, She's better off training troops, uh, so I guess that's the kind of relationship they're going to go for. Yeah, so far so good. None of them relate to me. While we look for another resource. Oh yeah, you're a bad person. Let me see what you got. You got a skull. Soak ivory. You're a member of the Trade League, right? No. You got it from this man who... Who was the Master Trader. I hope nobody doesn't mind this when I do this. Oh, wait, these are not seizable artifacts. They're not equipable. Nor you can... Well, then you just remain there and while you think about it. That'll stop him. Although, I could have easily burned him and get a little bit of piety. But there are other matters. Compared to our steward, evenly skilled, so just stick around. Let that the fearless. Talk on the board. And it's gonna take about five years if I want to switch to Bogostan. And then we can go to Absolute Rule, which increases the domain size, which is something I would want. Just this one time, and then I'll figure out who else I should sway. Preferably you, because you're a hedonistic man, who's a lunatic. Kashmirian Holy War for Gandhara. Yeah, basically what's going to be left of them. But mind you, you are declaring war against the Hindus, which means the Hindus will back them up. So be careful. I was honored by your visit, even though you live next to me. We're seated next to each other. You know, Mamushd and the uh, Shansha. <laughs> Just a little funny back there. I have to start swaying you now, because we gotta please everybody. If you wanna keep the kingdom stable and the nomads have been settled. The king of the Bulgars, um, Khan Goleta the Bear, has decided to settle down in Peskov, making it his new tribal homeland. Khagan of Knight of Peskov. And he's a Catholic. With a lot of spawned troops with him. And as a result, now they declared a tyranny war. Watch them and uh, a couple of others, I assume. They're going to rise up against this. Um, which is the wrong one. Um, this new Kaganite. Coletta. I see. Any of them Tengri? So that way it's possible to 
convert them in the future. Yeah, Christians are encroaching that land. And they call you the unlucky. Well, you're going to be unlucky in an attempt to try to convert these people. And this man trying to seduce me will never happen. It'll make my husband like me more. Attempting to spread Zoroastrianism in other places is not a bad idea. It's just as to prevent, you know, Catholic spread. More Zoroastrians, more allies. What makes this place so valuable to raid? Make it even. And raise up what little troops to go up against them. Well, not that little. some experience. Now go deal with them. You did your duty. By the way, did you revoke? Well, they're both in prison, so they can't be revoked at the moment. In case if he replaced them with Buddhists, which I don't mind. It's okay to have a Buddhist majority out eastward while there's Zoroastrian here. If only we could bring the story of Christianity back in the realm. Only very few of them live here, but they're all old men. Oh. All right, um, she's picked up some marshals, so I'll tell you what. Whenever I get a son, his path will be different while you'll be another shield maiden in the future. That's what I see in you. Simply for the sake of it, because they're still hostile. Oh, a Zoroastrian. Very well. But I would recruit you, but you're not even worth it. Well, as for you, not a Zoroastrian. Wait a minute, you're all Zoroastrians? No? Stingly. Sorry about this. Just we're looking for a resource, that's all. Now we're turning here. Just curious. Curious. Yeah, easy for me to say. Anyway. I mean, I've always wondered. Always wondered. I get it. Um, about if we were to have a lot of money, which we will get now. It's like, what would be something to build in Samarkand, our capital? In which I would highly likely build a magnificent garden. Which, based on the past playthroughs, the garden is one of my favorite... Great works to build, because you get to have access to the Fountain of Youth, if you are a mystic, when you build the thing. But I am nowhere near of being a mystic. Zaya has become a tributary. Well, it's a small country, so fair enough.
Okay, hold the phone here. Cousin Rumtish. This again. You know, if I were to ever expand, I would likely vassalize them. And I would love to vassalize uh, the current Shadam, but that's impossible now because, well, it's too big. Unless we want to, you know, expand it to the rest of Bok, which, of course, that would be... Oh, by the way, you have that control, right? So, trap your book? Yes. Which, by the way, it does have an alternate name. I looked it up the other day. Bactria. It's ancient name. But I don't know what culture uses that name. Probably Greek. If they were to able, to, if they were able to expand that far. This we can handle. I don't think Fergana can, but we can. Successful jihad for Anatolia. Oh dear. They scored big. Yeah, pretty big. Because Byzantine Empire has their hands full with this holy war and a host conquest for one that's uh, it's over there somewhere I recall. And yes, you read this right. Umiads in Europe. This far to Europe, even as far north as Bohemia. Which is largely due to, well, it's Italian control. I'm sure there'll be a fierce war of independence one day, or a crusade. Because, you know, they're knocking on the door to the papacy. But, that's European business. We Sogdians have our own things to worry about. And they formed a Knights Templar now. It's based on, you know, the way things are going. Over there. Huh, huh, huh. Just laughing nervously. Again, we have our own empire. We control most of the Northern Silk Road. We got what we wanted. Let's go. They're back again. Manichaeans. Desert. Okay, what's a retinue camp? We can get more, but I do have an idea of what that would be like. I'll raise the Tokarians. Catch these guys too. Now we have a medium mercenary garrison to further increase the trade value. We're just happy that the Stoke Road is open again.
Now it's your turn. Flax field and Bokara can no longer sustain itself. Now we only have one flax field to worry about. Then again, the timing was a lot suspicious at best because we're looking for another resource as another one goes away. Well, when one resource goes away, then, then we find another. Anybody worth a damn to you? How old am I? Oh yeah, I got plenty of years for a book. Which, by the way, um, our previous ruler did write a book. This one. But I believe it's time for another martial themed book. Easier this way. Ask a press claim. What claim do, do you have? It says, endure claim on Kabul. You want me to go to war against him? Who's making a tributary state out of, out of another satrapy? Two Sorastrian satrapies. The Karen and uh, the Kurdish one that, you know, went to Baghdad and, and accidentally started the jihads early. No. Because of this, the council's discontent just for refusing that. No, I'm not going to allow that. So, they're not too fond of what I've just pulled. Doesn't say anything about their opinion other than maybe I just, uh, you know, turned it down for Kotel. Refused to press claim. Oh, that's just minor. I'm just doing business, okay? Where are you from? Oh, that small cognate? Bastard niece of mine? Attractive. Yes. <laughs> I got to see that. Also, where's the, uh, Movad? You're still over there? Well, I'm gonna give you a little bit of money. So that way there can be some convincing between us. And if Zoroastrianism is spread into Europe, I know we can't support you, but hey, it's great to have something like that. Although it also could further endanger, you know, other things. Look what you got yourself into. Well, that's a nomadic cog, and I, you got the wrong one. It's these people. more money and then I've got to eventually get up to that final rank and yet they're not making me do enough activities or give me reasonable missions for this sort of thing well the threat level will be going down in three years time Which I believe by then I would be of that high rank, so one would think it's, it's good timing. So that way we may have to go to war against China again, since we have a reputation of defeating them time and time again. And we're not afraid to fight China one more time. 
to liberate the rest of the Tokarian territory of uh, Kumo. I'm glad they're making more money so we can, you know, release the rest. Except for you. Just go away, you evil person. What are our facts? I mean, if I do that, then he'll be released, so I can't really be doing that. Not your turn, Aran Spobod. accelerating on the military technology but I'm um, saving it up for military organization to remove the pagan homeland attrition penalty if we were to go north again I'll just tell you about my prosperous realm or lack thereof which I'm trying to sway him you know with the married lunatic but he's getting there Made a little bit more gold, thanks to the stone quarry. That'll be, um... About six, seven months time? I should take her out of the hunt. Again, you are one with the Eagle Warriors, so falconry would make sense. Rabbit after rabbit was caught, killed, and brought to me by a new bird. I like this. That's how I wanted to spend my first uh, five years of the reign as um, a bambushed and bambushed of uh, Turan. No! I know what you're asking and it's gonna keep making a council discontent. Is that what you're using that favor against me for? To press one of your claims for that region? Because of that part of... Because you want Kabul. That's why. Makes you want to give it to somebody else just to annoy you. And it'll annoy the rest of the vassals too. You don't have the power to do that. Everybody wants to go to summer camp. Come on. So it's good. we can put that up. I mean, that increases the retinue size. Just trying to make another trade office. Why not? All of it. Well, there's still some work on that. 
But trade value is more important right now. I about to say, is the flow fine right now? And you were telling me to go to war? But, by the way, because Volomir is dead. Old age. Um, because, you know, I didn't recognize this hero. So you wanted me to do carousing, which is, un, you know, things that people in the Warrior Lodge like to do in addition of war. They like to go to war, and they like to party. I mean, I don't make enough friends, so, yeah, I'll keep that well in mind. Which I'll do that in June. The new bird's almost too perfect. I enjoy every hunt of her. And a cook has trouble finding new recipes for the rabbit. I'm a falconer. Oh, you better stop that. Oh no, Cook Kak has died. He was our he was the man that makes the troops move very fast. But now it's up to you. Or me if need be. Now it's time. Our table's already full, veteran. Are you saying you want to fight me for the, a spot? Well, Zena rises from her seat, I lay cracking her knuckles and taking a step towards me. I'm slow then. Oh, and they call her the Ruthless. A duel? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I was holding my masterful short sword in front of me, locking eyes with Bozena. The crowd began to whisper as my opponent fidgeted awkwardly with her weapon, her face growing paler. I thought she was about to faint. Then the woman started running away from me. Well, that was easy. Well, you're craven. There's a reason for that. So there you go. So yeah, a little bit more on the gain. And then, uh... I'll switch to crowning soon. And then I will begin to focus on a military aspect and uh, pick up a commander trait then raise up for call to glory when that time is right and the war sacrifice you know just another preparation for a future conflict against China because I would like to beat them one more time which will probably happen in the next episode based on the rate what we're doing spending money to look for a resource and uh, improving the Silk Road trade posts so yeah, we're basically improving the economy here. But now, let's all have a good time. It's been a long time since I properly celebrated a great victory, or invited my fellow warriors over to a feast. What is the point of accomplishing legend such legendary feats if they are not remembered and honored? Let the festivities begin. Now, would you like to come? I mean, you like the party. I'm sure he'll accept it. We'll become fast friends. So if not, then it's going to be someone else. Alright, did you make a tributary out of them? Yet. Still in the process. Alright, he's coming. Sure did a way to get a red stars through his stomach. Perhaps I should have something prepared for him in a way to draw us closer to each other. I will invite him for dinner. Oh, man. He's an hedonist and he's fat. So, yeah, two feasts. But this is just a formal dinner. I was happy to know that my offer yielded positive results. Now they inform me that he's very much appreciate my food, but he cannot wait for more. Great. Well, there's more where that came from. Okay, Wheatfield and Bakara. It's better than nothing. Get to work. We spent enough money for this sort of thing. Position here. It's faster to go. Again, I care less about outside of the world problems as much as focus on the here and now. But remember. Choosing military aspect 
150. Warrior training, 300. So save up the warrior training first. Alright, my guests have arrived for a private peace service. Now it's time to let the carousing and merriment begin. Let's get started. It's me and the fat man again. The fat man. He's feasting and reveling like a lunatic. I can hardly stand up. I'm laughing so hard. I must invite him more and become cheery. What did I tell you? He's a one-handed lunatic. He's also cheery. 100%. And uh, he's quite a fighter himself, and likes to play board games. But he still owes money to the Jews if he can. Oh, hey, friend. It seems you're doing well for yourself, unless you're talking about... Yeah, the revolt. But these are Zoroastrians. And it's for what? Oh, tyranny. I mean, I can uh, team up with you to defeat the uh, the rebels, which it'll make easy work. But honestly, I'm starting to get a little bored, so... I gladly accept. May my weapon taste the blood of your enemies. But, since we're a bit short on cash, we'll be sending a limited number of troops your way. And my uh, horde is remained on guard duty. I mean, I could bring them all the way over there, but I think I'd be hard pressed. But someone else got there. Oh no, no, wrong gun. They're not hostiles, nor friendlies. Oh no, a devastating plague broke out in China. No goods travel along the Silk Road as merchants fear infection. Even so, this deadly scourge is spreading quickly. The troubles of China could soon be ours. China will not be able to assist its tributary states. Just when things were going good. It reduces the value of Silk Road by 90%. Now we won't make as much money. But I can send you a physician, because we can offer to send a medically schooled individual to go protect the emperor from disease and infection. Oh, hey, a prisoner who's a celibate uh, physician. Guess we must have captured him from one of the raids. Again, I feel a little bad for you, so. And this old cartographer can go. But can he at least offer us something in return? Like a strategist, because, um, you know, soon we'll be having a, a new set of commands. Matter of fact, there's plenty of new ones now. Less Chinese tactics now. So yeah, I think we're overdue for another strategist that we can bring. And here he is. Le Zaldu. He's a duelist, too. So he'll be starting to train my commanders up through their education, like Way of the Tiger, for example. I... Although we could still go to war, a holy war, but anything else than that? Not worth it. Not yet, at least. And you will be its replacement for cartographer, rather than commander. Guess that's why they call you the unlucky. I'll find your replacement. Wait a minute, where's Lithuania's capital? 
They haven't gone Catholic yet. We still have contact with them. By them. If not, then these people. Which matter of fact, I think we should have tried them because the moral authority is much lower. Oh, he'll be a better chancellor. But my friend here. But Jewish counselors make everything better for the realm in actuality. Try them. If not, then um Oh god, another battle of pneumonia. Has um Angra Minu cursed my baby? Alright, here's another try. Let's try uh let me see, I need a big Oh, wait, that's Chernikov. No, nope, they ain't gonna be that way anytime soon. Call me. I know it's a bit far off from here, but... You can at least try. If not, then maybe these isolated people. But... There's somebody that wants that island there. Last chance. Oh wait, that's too far away to contact. Sizable Yugra. As I said, last chance and then I'll leave them alone. Oh shoot. Oh. Oh wait, you're beating the attackers. Good. Now march up there. Again, not bringing up like the main troops. Uncle Shahrukh. Hey, my half sisters and heroin like me. Yeah. Don't send any more herbats up there. Just stay here and we can get some piety gain. Manichaeans. We don't need their scum. A little sizable, but they're in a bad way. What happened to the Zoroastrians in the region? Being marginalized. There is a Mazdake over there. Trying to work our way up here. Takes a while to move all these troops to those areas. Okay, we'll have a non aggression pact. Even if it means I have to send my shield maiden away to another region. A blind fighter. Look at that. Guess you got him in prison already. Return. Yeah. We got it done. There goes my sister. Hey, husband, should like to go cross? I'm glad we're in good company now. Guess not. I guess we're gonna be having one child again and and she survived pneumonia twice. <laughs> Which pretty much tells you that she must be a resilient little girl that we'll have in our future. Even though she also could be a future uh, shield maiden, but 
I think there's others. Other destinies. Like, like, sure, we've been a militaristic empire, but don't you think that we should move on to stewardship or... I mean, we never had an intriguing ruler before. Which I thought intrigue could be useful to us. By the gods. I don't want to fight against them because they're in the middle of a war. Which I don't seem to be winning. So the council is going to remain discontent at me. Now with them being discontent, there are no factions formed, interestingly enough. it's safe. Okay, not my husband, but I guess you again. Since we had a good time last time. On a break from working on my book, I've been sitting for hours in the courtyard watching knights riding in the contain. I'm certain I'm about to grasp some kind of an insight from repeated motions, yet my head is only filled with a pounding of horse hooves. Suddenly the flicker of torch makes you realize night has fallen. I could do this all night. Maybe I should. This will raise the quality of the work. I have a poor precision still, right? The unlucky one? Yeah, you're still around. Better not be pneumonia, because it seems like it's a common thing that occurs here in Songdiana, unfortunately. Drink human breast milk. Yeah, human breast smoke from the friggin' wet nurses. Cut that out. Oh, okay, it's a flu. Just a flu. As long as you know what you're doing. I actually uh, feel better, thanks. Actually, I know what I'm going to do with that money. I mentioned about building cities on these two areas. I think we should do that. Just wait until you reach 1500. 1500 gold and we'll build new cities in two counties. <laughs> now we become friends. Just as what I wanted. But unfortunately, it, it would be a tie now. Now, all I need is a loyalist. Um, I've often been changing her badge, but no bad. So, um, is there any loyalist? Or perhaps we can make one and not too well skilled. And that's somebody of my dice. Of course, my careless cousin. I know what I'm going to do with you. So, for now, it's ruler war decoration. Now I'm a dedicated carouser. Hey, wants to vote for to change that law is uh, approved? And then uh, we're gonna send him away somewhere. I was about to say, well, we got it. So now you careless one. Go, oh, more tyranny. Trialania. I doubt he'll get it done. He'll be in prison, and I'm just sounds like I'm a bad person. But hey. I'm just changing walls here. We're making changes in the upper. <laughs> Never fails. All right, you're the most most skilled out of all of them. The one who ain't in prison. Spirits are, are high at the launch tonight. I'm itching for a challenge. Many many important warriors have gathered in a large hall to celebrate a recent hunt. 
given me no shortage of capable warriors to test my strength with. I will pick the strongest I could find, and it's this Bulgar woman, who's craven. Or let's just be fair and somebody who's not craven, but stressed. And she's brawny, he's not. And this court position, which he'll most likely just run off. Plus, she's been beaten up recently, so I challenge you, Ozlem. We stand in front of the other, preparing ourselves for the game. We put our arms on the table, while a third fighter holds our fist still. A crowd around us chants a disjointed countdown, and cheers as we start pushing against each other. With a loud thud, I slammed her fist against the table, earning a shower of cheers from the other warriors gathered around us. My opponent glares at me something about accepting the fear as she rubs her hands. What sort of weakling are you? I gain a renown. Tonight's are just about to... They call me the Butch. The Butch? Not Butcher, but the Butch. Well, I'll figure out what that meaning is in, you know, in medieval times. What are they meant by that word? Anyways, I was just about to leave the main hall. I was approached by a Baidwin, one of my fellow warriors. After chatting for a while, he reveals to me that he's been watching me for a while and finds me a very strong and attractive fighter. Yeah, the Afghan Buddhist who's, you know, who lives in there. Well, not anymore. Well, I'm not getting much of children, and I do need a bit of a lover, so... And I happen to think of same thing about you. Well, the Eagle War has been watching. I believe it's time to meet a sparring ring. A hero cannot afford to get rusty. What say you? Will you seek me out for an honorable duel? Yeah, we do have any contact with you, but... Since you like me so much, let's have a duel for honor, which uh, you could potentially best me because I have a flu. Just make it sure if you are the right person. If I win, I'm sending my mobile to you. If I lose, well then, you, you keep the honor. Fight for guns on what feels like hours. The initial cars I felt began to wane, and my mood's getting sloppy. Then, just when he's a giveaway under me, I injure him. So, he's got a swollen ankle. Yeah, he was from up there. Best of luck to you. And a wheat field in Bukhara is finally done. Now we make a little bit of money off of the, of the wheat field. But if I was a member of the trade league, then that means I would get a uh, uh, grain. I told, I was told to give this to you in person. A servant says, handling me a letter with a seal of Chief Urkhan. I think it's a love letter, Mistress. A girl. It continues from Archon. I ask incredulously, snatching the papers from her hands. After reading it, I am stuck reading it over and over. <laughs> Servant, fetch me a scribe. I have to respond to this love letter. So just hope this romantic relationship can create the Zoroastrian. The eldest, the unchaste. The poor duelist. Oh my goodness. A bedridden woman with gout. She needs confidence. <laughs> Tell her to get out of bed. It's time to fight. Just as Yos was about to issue Bozena, the ruthless challenge, Bozena ran away from her bed, apparently. Kind of had to boss here. You need a word, it's embarrassing for all of us. What do you need? Well, you got your renown. And uh, despite being gaudy, um, it's like what imagine is. She came in and was like, it's time for a duel. It's time to fight. Yeah. 
And Asuka starts, it's like, hey, pick up the bed and get out of here. Pick up the whole damn mattress and, <laughs> and run down the hall and whatnot. <laughs> she can't do a damn thing because the gout is so bad, she had to be bedridden. <laughs> I'm glad we found some humor in this episode. And why isn't this flu going away? Next treatment's next, uh, year. I finally recovered from the flu, as I will get back into business. <sighs> well, you know, look, I know they tell you, but I would rather see you take this path. Pride. Be proud that you are a member of this great dynasty of the and so you are groomed for rulership. But she could become haughty or brooding. But if they tell you to be a member of Eagle Wars, I will prevent it from doing so. Your destiny lies elsewhere. Because we're strong enough to take on any threat. Surprise you're still alive. Okay, I'll give that money to you. Just when I was getting set to uh, spend it on new cities. Because, you know, infrastructure is, needs to be improved locally. Ah, Defender. It's all mountains from up here. Go deal with them. Stop swaying you. I'll put you up here because you do a lot of morale damage. I just would love to have another child before I turn 40. If not, then I'll switch to... Uh... Hey! You busy? I mean, it's been a while since we last, you know, interacted, ever since we got your, your kingdom back. Shot him back. Oh, he's not coming. And neither is she, which... Pregnant. Glad you're having children. Any vassals that dislike me at the moment? No, everybody's a-okay. Okay. Guess you. Guess not. How about you? And if it ain't accepted, then I'll just get the whole council and... Okay, that's it. I was about to say, um, isn't he busy trying to proselytize these people? The 2D Zoroastrian faith. I don't think Ladakh provides much of forces. But, you know. Oh no, they got infantry. So that could be a problem. Big problem. But don't worry, Ladakh forces have joined us. Oh, finally. Better be a son. Kashtrang, you are the new designated region. Because I kept forgetting to assign one. that. Now we'll make the uh, inheritance regulated. This will allow a title to pass on to another realm. But it's going to need some support. 
depending on your progress. I'm not even reading what that plot is, even if it's assassination. Why on earth? fun. Oh yes, I just remembered something. Seeing these lifestyle traits, knowing that I have this much for now. So now, give me warrior training. The dedication uh, you display is an admirable sister. Um, the Shadok Nana tells me, inspecting my horse. We've been riding for hours, but all I feel is invigorated by the fresh air. You are good of her, she says, gesturing at the animal. At all this, the one concludes. Thank you, Nana. That means a lot. Of course, in my heart, I feel that Ahura Mazda might frown upon my dedication to these people. These people. So now I'm a marauder. I do fighting a lot better in the steppes and the plains. And now I choose a military aspect, as my fellow members of the Eagle Warriors have long been wondering when I'll choose a focus for my fighting talents. There are those who live for the art of dueling, while others prefer a, mere, a more theoretic side of combat. Yet, Hunting is also a worthwhile pursuit. Knowing that our predecessors, um, especially Mother, who was a hunter, and Vistasp was a dualist, now I want to delve deeper into strategic thinking, and this will lead to the strategist. And we'll see how that goes. Speak of this task and a duelist too. All right. The stack of books in front of me is intimidating. My scholars tells me these are classics, but for anyone interested in introduction to strategic warfare, but I am Empress Ranisa. Uh, Ranisa. Surely I do not need the basics. I should not be out on the field surveying the troops firsthand. Well, I do need a bit of learning because. We're trying to up the technology a bit, especially the military advances, because if you get more learning, then this technology growth will go a lot faster. So there is value in the historical records, as I'd be hitting a books for two years. All right, let's spend that money on cities. This is what I was waiting for. City here, and a city here. And you still got enough money to spare for whatever I may need. Or like thereof. I like saying like thereof, it just sounds funny by adding it to me. Yeah. The Western Protector has been the target of frequent raids as of late. And that man is not dead yet. What, is, what would I say if I execute him? Well, sorry for that. My commanders have come to request my advice on some exercises they are performing outside of palace walls. We could really use that strategic mind of yours, mistress. They say, um... Uh, startled, I realized my studying has paid off and my chest swells with pride, and then I collect myself nodding. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Typically, what you want to consider in, in a setup like this. Soon, I am talking and just so excited receiving the oohs and ahs and even distribution. Now I'm a strategist, which is plus two martial and plus one stewardship, and we do better in defensive battles. Useful for the possible future Chinese conflict. Holy War in particular. What you got? It may happen in the next episode or somewhere down the line. Maybe a little quick vassalization war. For the last time. Count 
Alonso will always remain discontent. Should have never given that boy a favor. But it's another daughter, and it's a sickly one at that. You want to become a Rats Fabod? No. Refuse that position. The council's discontent at the moment because of what I've been doing. I need a son, not daughters. But then again, vassals have no problem. They're probably used to female rulers nowadays. And um, having another one is just going to be, well, well, it's becoming a norm. Despite the fact that we are agnatic cognatic. I mean, unless I get desperate, then, um, who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do in two years' time? Maybe seduction's a little bit out of the question. I mean, after all, my sisters are having children, but there's nephews from other dynasties. Which I take no chances with that. Ah, chastity. That's your reason. Despite the fact you're a good looking man, but you are chaste. Oh, you're not going to get away from us. It's time for you to earn your. Yeah, we decided to come to the ends of the world to to come get a beating. Get back down here. What's going on? Ah, oh, just little issues over there. Now, where is my renown? Now? Very good. And a bickering of fools does not concern me. And by the way, additional gain for being a strategist. And a falconer. I guess I made the right choice of being a falconer. Because eagle warriors. They like it. And mind you, it's been, uh, how long has it been since Vishnav found that bloodline? Well, oh. yeah. A duel for blood against this man who, whoa, that's one hell of a guy. He's their hero. But I could defeat him. So his name is, uh, Sekhor's the title, right? No, no, that's his name. Sekhar Doris of Lakshmanavati. He rules the county there. He's the chief of Lakshmanavati. But he could be... I mean, his high intrigue, that means there's a small chance that he could do something dastardly in order to defeat me. Strategist versus duelist. So that'd be interesting. Chosen to accept my challenge of personal combat. My opponent looks nervous, his armor a little ill fitting. I briefly contemplated the Ascarad to do another day. A moment later, I snap out of it, landing a fresh morning air shop in my senses instead. The robust man is soon on the ground, groaning in pain. I got what I wanted. I'm still the best duelist in this world. In this part of the world. Huh. I recently found myself becoming friendly with Sekhor. So he chuckles hardly. Oh, when I attempt to compliment the man on his fighting tech, my lady, we should 
both know that we did not. I did not do very well the last time we sparred. It says, despite the fact you are their hero. June, right? June. So many people still in prison. I'm really considering a war against China. Mm -mm. Not a chance. Okay, for this October, um... Is it time for another Jashin Festival? Yes. So first thing next year. Well, no, no. The summer of next year at some point, and then later the other ones. I mean, we have very good numbers. So. For a possibility of a holy war against China. Is that even an option? Yes. It's still there. But you can't do other things like, oh, I don't know, invade China because it's not stable. There's a devastating plague going on. So it's pretty much out of the question. Unless you want to vassalize them and make a small gain. So that we could be encroaching on a current shot him still. Oh, you did make them a, 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 a tributary. Good. And that means if we ever try to expand upon you, then that means we have to face against these guys, right? Or what's left of them. Again, I wouldn't worry too much about them. Less than November, so okay, do it at the... Near the very end of October. Roughly. We're doing this festival again. Just making a little bit of preparations. Because I guess a holy war against them is likely. And now, uh, the plague has been receded and now popular uprisings have broken out in Kaifeng. And large groups of disgruntled peasants have taken up arms, led by a group of rogue gentlemen scholars. Trade has been handled along the Silk Road, and China will not be able to defend its uh, tributary states. So now there's an unrest. If only it was stable. I mean, don't even think about invading China. That usually happens in the late game. Doing it early would be suicide. Alright, now... Uh, this blessing shall aid me in battle as we get the morale of armies up. Just to get them ready for what's gonna come. Need a loyalist advisor. Yeah. And he's still over there. Why haven't people accepted Zoroastrianism in their lives? Maybe it's because we're too far away for them to request um, mass conversions. And the way to do that is I probably have to fabricate a claim on some really outlying areas. Preferably here, because that one's closer. So we can establish ourselves here. And, I don't know, possibly expand areas. And maybe these people will be more amenable to to call for Zoroastrianism. So that's just the possibilities of what we're going to do in the future. And saving up money, you know case if we need mercenaries or more. We're getting there for that military organization. So we're going to have more retinues and we can go across the steps without any trouble, which which I think this idea of what I just mentioned is a pretty good possibility. Four loyalists and we're going to have another one.
you. I don't know you very much, but we need to have this changed. Mm -hmm. Continuing to be making changes for the better of the realm. And the cities are finished. And Nakshab, this is Rabi. And uh, up here will be finished in a week. And this new city, Kuljan. Not to be confused with Kuljan. Now meet the mares. We'll end the episode on June. Some would say, uh, it's like, yeah, not a lot of action in this episode, but hey, at least I became of this rank, and subsequently, um, did a few bit of, uh, law-making changes. Law-making. I mean, I'm not the law-giver yet. I mean, I'll be turning 40 soon, so unfortunately these two daughters are going to be the only ones I'll have. Including this, uh, heir who I believe is going to be the one to um, have a different destiny rather than be a shield maiden. As if we got enough of those. And I believe that Parthian bloodline of mine of getting these commanders is will compensate those. Instead of just training daughters to be shield maidens. Just uh, found an alternative. For goodness sakes, you gotta have a treasure guard to protect your artifacts from thieves. Or some reprobates. Yeah, there's still raiders roaming about. Sister in law. Yeah. Okay. So now we have plans in the future. It seems a holy war to get Kumal, which will be a big gain for us, but it's to liberate the rest of Telkarian territory, which is mainly Buddhist still. I mean, he'll be very happy if we were to succeed in this sort of thing. Not to mention it's going to be another big war. And um, I believe the Protector General in the future will be there in battle, as he's not craven. He's one of the lead troops of that kind of skill, if we can take out all their commanders and I'm still able and our chilled sisters are still around they're in good age is it possible to invite you back to court no hey how about you I'm able to press claim no Okay, because there's a way to get her back because I'm gonna need her talent As we are preparing for war here. So in the next episode the war with the Western Protectorate of China seems likely and Also taking considerations of possible northern expansion in order to expand Zoroastrianism Into the regions not necessarily for the Tehran Empire just the faith in general so they can so that way pagans will be intimidated by our presence and they'll be asking for requests for mass conversions that's what i'm uh, hoping for here we're not only the masters well soon to be the masters of the silk road in a way and uh as well as the ones that spread zoroastrianism up into um to the northern regions that we tend to stay away from and subsequently improve military organization which uh, which will do better on land organization and will be well supplied for future expeditionary wars. So we hope you join us in the next episode for another big one. But until then, so long for now.